how are you doing? Welcome back to another beautiful week. My name is Wolo. I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, and I love to talk about everything Canada, including immigrating to Canada. Um, I just want to quickly put out this information. If you're new to this channel and you want to reach out to me, please check the description box of my video. You will see um, a link to the website and my email address. Some persons have been cloning my account and dropping WhatsApp numbers on the comments of people asking them to contact them. Please, that is not me. I will not ask you to contact me. If you send me an email, you want to talk to me, I usually ask people to book via the website. So if you want to know what the website is, you will see the details on the bottom of the screen. And please take note, these guys who are impersonating me or these imposters, they are scammers. I don't want you to lose your hard-earned money. And please be careful. If you're making any comments in the comment section, anybody who replies you with my face and a WhatsApp number or asking you to contact them through Telegram or through whatever, whatever means, please, that is not me. If I reply you, you will see the difference between my reply and the reply of the imposter. They usually use my face, but that is not me. And they put some funny WhatsApp numbers. They also ask you to contact them via Telegram. Please, that is not me. If I want you to contact me, you have to contact me through my official email address, hello at caninfoconsult.com or through my website, which is caninfoconsult.com. I have to say this in every of my videos and I'm thinking of maybe I should even switch off the comment section so that I can save people from, you know, falling victim to fraudsters. Um, they've done it before. I've reported them. They came back again. They are doing it a second time again. So please watch out for these guys. They are scammers. Anyway, that is not the reason for this video, but I have to, it's like I have to put the disclaimer out for every of my video. Um, so for today's video, um, I'll be talking about the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. And, well, we all know that the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program is set to end this year, December 31st, 2021. But the Minister of Immigration has been giving some hints that the AIPP program would likely continue. He's been giving some hints. They have not made an official announcement yet. And based on that, I said I was going to talk about it because... A lot of people have been asking questions like, oh, um, since FSW has been on hold for a long while, is it that AIPP is still ongoing? You know, and let me just quickly say this. For those who don't know what AIPP is, AIPP is one of the immigration pathways. It's called the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. And it's an opportunity for people to search for jobs. Um, if you secure a job, you can get a work permit to come into Canada while your PR application process is ongoing. So if you don't know what it is, I've just explained what it is. You can also check the IRCC website for more details. If you want to learn more and you feel that you can't really sieve out the information concerning AIPP, then I ask you to book a consultation via the website. But I just want to quickly say this. Knowing that AIPP has to do with job search, that is what actually discourages a lot of people. And it discourages them from you know, applying for these jobs because it's tedious to actually get a job from outside Canada. And I've mentioned several times the kind of jobs you can get from outside Canada. I've done a lot of videos on that. Please check my previous videos. Instead of just sending emails, check my previous videos. I must have answered those questions. Now, there is a strategy people use in getting jobs. And you have to understand the economical situation of a particular province. You have to understand what they are looking for before you start searching for jobs and if you go to each of the ai um the province website the atlantic provinces website you will see the occupations that they need you will see the employers that have been listed as employers that are eligible to hire people from outside canada what you should be asking yourself is what is the economic situation of that particular province i'll give an example for newfoundland and labrador what is the current economic situation of newfoundland and labrador is it a province that has very good um opportunity for different kinds of skills you have to look at the occupations demand and one good example is look at the pri priority um pathway that was announced at the beginning of this year that started at the beginning of this year take note of the list of occupations on that particular priority pathway that will just give you an idea 
of what they are actually looking for in that province so you don't just go randomly searching for a job in newfoundland and labrador when you already know that there are certain kind of people they are looking for in that province so if you find your occupation on that list in the priority pathway list that is when you now have the confidence of searching for a job or sending your resumes to uh, a, any of the organization in that province so that you can be hired under AIPP. So that's one strategy there. Now, I'll move from Newfoundland and Labrador, I'll go to Prince Edward Island. For Prince Edward Island, it is a well-known fact that they don't take people from outside Canada. You have to like be in Prince Edward Island before you can even be eligible for their provincial nomination, not to talk of AIPP. So if you want to know which occupations they are looking for in Prince Edward Island, you have to go to Prince Edward Island um website and then look for what they are looking for look for the occupations in demand in that province if you find your occupation in demand then you can have the confidence of searching for jobs in pei but on a general level i'll tell you the truth pei is one of the provinces that i don't think you can easily get a job in except maybe you are a nurse if you're a nurse yes you can search for a job in pei and i know one lady who is a nurse actually got a job offer in PEI so yeah so that's it for Nova Scotia you also have to use the same strategy also for Nova Scotia what kind of jobs are they looking for in Nova Scotia you have to look for the occupations that are in demand in Nova Scotia if you find that your occupation is in demand in Nova Scotia then you can go ahead and start looking for a job in Nova Scotia so that you can um, get an opportunity to immigrate under AIPP but if you know that your occupation is not in demand in that province then there's no point wasting your time sending random resumes to employers in Nova Scotia. Then the last province that I love so much, I love this province so much, I don't know why, New Brunswick. I love New Brunswick so much because they are quite unique and quite different. They do their things differently. And New Brunswick is very dear to my heart because they go around doing recruitment events. And this is what you should know. If a province is going around doing recruitment events what you should be asking yourself is what kind of people are they looking for what kind of people are they recruiting so check the recruitment events they usually advertise the occupations that are needed the occupations that they organize recruitment events for once you see those occupations they've in fact they've done recruitment events for nigerians that's the virtual recruitment events south africans west africans um for people in the francophone countries they've done for the uk they've done for ukraine they've done for mexico they've done for brazil um i don't know which other country again i can mention so what you should be doing is check the recruitment event list what kind of occupations are they looking for if you see your occupation there then you know that those are the occupations they are looking for then you can start searching for jobs but if you cannot find your occupation there you shouldn't be bothered searching for a job in new brunswick and new brunswick is so good in such a way that they are looking for people unlike the other provinces that you don't even know what they are doing or what they are looking for new brunswick is so open you can go to their website and um you'll find the information there on their website the kind of occupations they are looking for in new brunswick so that's the strategy um i felt i should come and share to people outside who are looking for jobs i know looking for a job from outside canada is not easy but the truth is, are people getting jobs? Yes, people are getting jobs. I can tell you the truth, people are always getting jobs every day. But depends on your strategy. So you have to actually know where the jobs are and target where the jobs are. Rather than sending random resumes using job bank and indeed to be looking for jobs. So this is the information I said I was going to share today. I actually did this video outdoor. I will show you. <laughs> I will show you what, when I was working and doing the video. I did it outdoor, but... It wasn't up to my standard. I don't know, maybe I'm just someone who feels that the video swings a certain type of way before it can be uploaded. worthy. It wasn't up to my standard. I just felt like, you know what, let me just sit down and do this video. You people should not be angry with me. Anyway, so this is information I want to share. And if you still need further clarifications, please book a consultation. Um, of course, you know, I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. And um, I tell you the truth about immigrating and what you should be focusing on um, concerning immigration. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.